Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight is an actor, activist, and a New York Times best-selling author. Her latest film is The Inspection. It's a little piece of paper. It's all I have left of the dream I held for you. If you don't come back, the son I gave birth to, consider this certificate void. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Gabrielle Union. Nice to see you. Clearly, my mother called ahead and was exactly. like, please be nice to her. Exactly. She gave everybody oh in the audience $5. What? I think she did. Yeah, yeah. I think she did. Wow. Nice to see you. It's great to see you. It's great to be here. The, uh, the, uh, we had your husband on, uh, uh, I think, early on in when we came back to this theater. Did you watch? Did you watch when I... When yeah. I, we played uh, waste paper basketball. No, I did. I did. You did see that? Yeah. You saw yeah. I smoked him. You saw I smoked him. I did. That, right? I that, did. Exactly. How's he, how's he, doing? How's he dealing with that? Uh, it's not been great. It's not been great. You want to yeah. hear about it? Um, no, he gets out of bed. He drags himself. He's like, I'm still hot and rich and, like, you know, a legend, you know, future Hall of Famer. But, like, but, oh. But, but. Dot, dot, dot. Bang. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, God can't give you everything. No, that's true. Yeah. No, only, yeah. only a few of us get that. Yeah. Now, last month, <laughs> you celebrated a major milestone birthday. Yes. 50 years. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. A, I would not have believed it, but I'll, if you say so, I'm not asking for a birth certificate. You look amazing. Thank you. How did you celebrate? Uh, we celebrated by do, taking a tour of Africa. We hit four different countries. Oh, that's nice. On the continent, and it was amazing. We started in Tanzania, and then we went over to Ghana, down to Namibia, and then we finished in South Africa. Wow, you, you and your husband and your daughter. Oh, there were about 20 of my closest friends and oh, family. Oh, really? Um, that's nice. All okay, of what's these... it, what is it like traveling, like world traveling like that with a small child. Is she a good traveler? Uh, she's good for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and then, you know, like when you're flying... Those and flights are like, long. It's 20 plus hours with the toddler. Mm -hmm. And you know when you're on the plane and you're you know you're being like the you know the the sweet empathetic parent. Sure. You're like, oh girl, I feel you. And then after a minute, you're like, okay, where are the damn parents? <laughs> and then the parents are like, ah. We were those people. Like, oh, we no. just gave up at a certain yes. point. We're like, listen, if you got something better, you try it. And toddlers um, are toddlers are notoriously reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> didn't want to sit in her seat, didn't want to watch whatever. She, like, all the 80 billion things we downloaded, she was like, no, I'd like to meet all the people on this flight. <laughs> yes. Well, your, your new movie is called The Inspection. Yes. And it's about a young gay black man mm -hmm. who was rejected by his mother, and you play his mother. Yeah. What did this part mean to you to, to play this part? I mean, it was a challenge because I'd like to think of the way I move through the world and the way I deal with my family and, and you know, folks who have not been quite as open mm -hmm. uh, to diversity and, and uh, folks' identity. I, mm -hmm. I generally read you for filth. So initially when I, when I was offered the role, I was like, what have I ever given off that makes people be like, you know who would be play a great, terrible mother? <laughs> you, you. Mm -hmm. um, I, you're the only one on my list of my terrible mother list. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and then you know when you live it day to day, it's hard to even want to think about having those kinds of words come out of your mouth, mm -hmm. the kind of words that cause so much heartache and pain. Um, but they they convinced me that that me being in this role could uh, open more eyes and change more hearts. So I jumped at the chance. Is it important for you to for the for the roles that you do to to that there there be a message or a meaning to the, the story, or do you just really enjoy the character? Um, nowadays, uh, yeah, I, I follow my passion. I follow my heart. Whatever scares me, 
um, my girlfriend, Sanaa Lathan, uh, she said, if it, if it doesn't scare you, baby, it's not worth doing it. I was like, well, I don't like that. Uh, so wow. I, I followed my bank I like, account I like for that. many years. Uh, <laughs> me and my accountant, the IRS, everyone was very happy with that. Um, but if I, was, I wasn't uh, emotionally um, and creatively fulfilled. So in the last couple years, I just wanted to just do projects that mean something to me, that, that can have an impact on the world. Well, you, you've got a lot of women in your life that mean something to you. You, yeah. you are doing this thing now. Uh, you, do, you do Woman Crush Wednesday, yeah. a series of social media posts seri where you highlight different women you admire. Yeah. Um, we got uh, Karine Jean-Pierre, uh, White House press secretary right there. Of course, comedian Margaret Cho. Uh, uh, Io Adebiri, who is from The Bear, yes. who is just fantastic. Phenomenal. Um, wh what does it take? What, what's the what's the criteria for making Woman Crush Wednesday? You just you? have to be great at something. Um, I think a lot of people think that the part of the criteria criteria is you have to be a friend, a personal friend of me, mm -hmm. mine. Most of my WCWs, I don't know. Um, do they ever respond? Like, hey, thanks, yeah, well, I mean, the majority of them do, yes. But yes. there are some that are like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like her, and I'm like, that's fine, that's fine, because. You don't have to like me to be great. Like, I'm still going to shine a light on you. And I think we, as women, don't, you know, celebrate each other enough. So I've been doing this for years now. Um, so I try, to, I try to look under every nook and cranny and try to highlight people that are doing great stuff. How do you stay, you see, that's such a positive person. How do you stay positive in, at what can be very dark times? <sighs> My family, you know? Like, I watch my kids and, and how free they are and how, how much joy they have in their lives. And I, I realize that I make things a lot more difficult than they need to be. So I just, you know, like, get out of my own way, ding, ding dong. Like, I'm like, you are the problem. Remember that great speech that Angela Bassett gave and What's Love Got to Do With It? And she was like, you're the bad influence. Um, and I say that to myself in the mirror. Um, <laughs> and I let that land. So you're publicly positive, but you're really hard on you. It doesn't have to be this hard. It, do, it really doesn't. I well, can just lead with love. In the, in the spirit yeah. of your positivity, we would like to, if you will accept it, shout <gasps> out you as the, the Late Show's Woman Crush Wednesday. <laughs> and it's only Monday. <laughs> Thank you. This will go out Wednesday. Thank you. So lovely to see you again. Thank, Thank you for you being for here. Me. The inspection is in theaters everywhere now. Gabrielle Union, everybody. We'll be right back.